Hello, this is Sarah Brosh. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I want to do a video about Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken. And this will also be about the Yale Law School and Yale University student bodies as well. In particular, the Yale Law School student body. And it's going to be about statements that she has made since the Capitol riot, the Capitol mob, and also a recent letter that she sent out. I think she did one from herself as an individual to the Yale Law School community, and maybe it was just to the Yale community in general. And she also did one where she joined a letter with a ton of law school deans across the US. And so what I want to say about this, and these letters and these statements, very obviously, even if they didn't expli explicitly mention their names, these letters were addressed at two targeted uh, U.S. Senators, Joshua Hawley and Ted Cruz, and basically insinuated that they were responsible for inciting the political violence that took place during the Capitol mob, the Capitol riots, and also these letters, even though they weren't explicitly named very clearly, were meant to basically cancel Senators Joshua Hawley and Ted Cruz were meant to suggest that they should be disbarred were meant to suggest that they should be have their degrees rescinded, were meant to suggest that they should be impeached, that they should be removed from office, um, et cetera, et cetera. And what I just want to say, and I'm going to do another video about the Get Sarah Brosh Killed industry that exists, that actually exists, and it's specifically or I, mean, I want to say especially in law schools and especially in uh, law schools, law school journals. And I'll do another video about that, but I'll mention, I'll touch on that briefly in this video. But what I basically want to say is that Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken is a lying bigot and a fraud. She should be ashamed of herself. She should resign in abject shame. Um, and I want to make very, very clear that Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken, Yale President Peter Salovey, the Yale Law School student body, everyone who has been signing and propagating petitions that senators Josh Hawley and Ted Cruz should be disbarred, expelled, canceled, destroyed, have their livelihoods destroyed, be socially ostracized, be made social lepers, um, maybe even prosecuted, maybe even imprisoned uh, for treason, etc., maybe even put to death. Um, I want to say, I want to make very, very clear that everyone who is creating and perpetuating these ridiculous and asinine petitions and letters, they should all be ashamed of themselves. They are the ones who should be disbarred. And I want to make very, very clear that all of these idiots and lying bigots and frauds at Yale they are choosing, they are not choosing whom they destroy, whom they ostracize, whom they cancel, whom they call to be disbarred based on any notion of morality or principles or ethics. Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken doesn't have any idea what professional ethics for an attorney are. Okay? What ethics are period. She is a lying bigot and fraud. She has participated in the witch hunt against me at Yale that almost got me killed. And she, I appealed to her directly for help to save my life, 
to save my lifelong human and civil rights academic and legal careers, and she smeared me as a dangerous psychotic, and she said that she just basically flat out said she wasn't going to help me. And this, I sent her an email, and I've done a blog post, and I've done YouTube videos, and I basically just said, look, in particular, Tom Tyler, Tracy Mears, Veshla Weaver, and Monica C. Bell of the Justice Collaboratory of Yale Law School, they have tried to drive me to suicide. They have defamed me as a genocidal villain who lynches black students at Yale, putting my life in the gravest danger. And they've done this to protect Veshla Weaver because Veshla Weaver and Chris LeBron were Le LeBron in in um in collusion with Vox.com, they used me as a proxy. They jumped all over the living or napping while black hate crime hoax. And they tried to get me killed and they tried to drive me to suicide and they told disgusting lies about me and they defamed me. And they did this even though they knew me, they had worked with me, they knew I was a completely innocent anti-racism Yale grad student. I worked with Chris LeBron at Yale. I didn't work with Veshla Weaver, but she knew of me. Um, I worked with her very, very, very brief, briefly in terms of the same anti-racism conference about which I had worked with Chris LeBron. So she knew me and she was a member and is still a member of the Justice Collaboratory and is very good friends and with Tracy Mears, one of the co-directors of the Justice Collaboratory. The other co-director of the Justice Collaboratory, Tom Tyler, a professor at Yale Law School, was my advisor until he threw me over, I believe at the behest of Tracy Mears, because I started publicly denouncing Veshla Weaver, a member of the Justice Collaboratory, and Tracy Mears' good friend, Veshla Weaver, who with Chris LeBron and Vox.com, used me as a proxy to get revenge against Yale because Chris LeBron was denied tenure. That is the honest to God truth. That is the fact of the matter. And I sent an email to Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken and I said, please help me. These Yale Law School professors have engaged in the most vicious, the most unprofessional, the most horrifying defama defamation against me, an innocent anti-racism Yale grad student with whom they had worked. I was the advisee of Tom Tyler. I worked with Monica Bell at the Justice Collaboratory. She wrote a ridiculous, grossly defamatory NYU Law Review article about me, which amounts to a death threat against me, which puts my life in the gravest danger. And she meant to destroy me, meant to destroy my career, meant to destroy my livelihood, meant to get me killed, meant to drive me to suicide to protect Veshla Weaver. And I believe that Tracy Mears told Tom Tyler to drop me as an advisee, again, for the same reason, to protect Veshla Weaver. I explained all of this to Leah Law School Dean Heather Gerken. She couldn't care less. She couldn't care less that a completely innocent, anti-racism Yale grad student might lose her life. Someone who worked at Yale Law School very closely with a number of Yale Law School professors. Heather Gerken couldn't care less if I end up dead. In fact, I believe that she would prefer it. She doesn't care. So it is just completely ridiculous and asinine that she she thinks she has some kind of moral high ground. She thinks she has she's speaking from a place of conviction, of principles, of morality, of ethics, when she calls for the lives and livelihoods and careers of Senators Josh Hawley and Ted Cruz to be destroyed, in particular Josh Hawley because he got his JD from Yale Law School. I can't remember where Ted Cruz got his. Did Ted Cruz also get his JD from Yale Law School? I think may maybe he did, maybe he did. I'm not sure, I can't remember. Anyway, my point is do not think 
for one second that any of these evil demons, these lying, evil bigots and frauds are choosing whom they destroy based on any sense of ethics or morality or principles. They are doing it to cover up their own gross woke malfeasance. They're doing it for moral outrage industry, money and gain. They're doing it for a lot of reasons, but they're not doing it, any of them, because they're good people or they have or that, or that they have the moral high ground because they definitively do not have the moral high ground. And that goes for all of the Yale, um, all of the law school deans that signed this other letter that Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken signed on to that was from a bunch of law school deans from across the U.S. There is an actual Get Sarah Brash Killed industry, especially in law schools, and it, 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 it's disgusting. And I, I'm going to do a separate, I'm going to do a separate um, video about the latest manifestation of that. I don't want this video to get too long. Anyway, I'll have all of my fundraising links below. PayPal, GoFundMe, the link to donate directly to my fabulous attorneys, Randazza Legal Group. I love you all so much. Please donate to my legal fund so that I can restore due process and equal protection at Yale, Smith College, everywhere. I love you all so much. Have a great night.